Are you sitting down? Okay, because I'm stoked to tell you that we just released a new tool to make your life way easier as a video creator, our new premium plugins. And here's the best part. All of these plugins are drag and drop and can be downloaded, not just for Premiere and After Effects, but also for DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, HitFilm, Sony Vegas, and more. And there's so many! Over 40 plugins ranging from color grading to VFX and stuff that I use on a daily basis. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to install them, how to use them, and some creative ways that you can start getting the most out of them. So let's dive into it. Look, we all know that plugins can be super frustrating sometimes, so we made it as easy as possible to install. First thing you'll need to do is just go to motionarray.com and head to the plugin section of our website. From here, just download either the Mac or PC version, whatever you need. And you're already almost done. Click on the installation file that you just downloaded and click continue and then install. And then ladies and gentlemen, you're done. Your plugins are installed. And if you're on a PC, you may also get this option, in which case just click on the typical installation. Why am I so excited about this? Well, because with literally that one button click, you've now installed those plugins to every piece of software that they're compatible with. So if your editing software of choice is here, these plugins are installed there. Now, if you had any of these programs open while you were installing these, just shut them down and then open them back up again. And I'm gonna be going through the rest of this video in Premiere Pro, but let me first show you what these look like in a couple other pieces of software. In DaVinci Resolve, these plugins can be found in the Open Effects section of your effects library. You can easily find them with Prefix MA and their simple drag and drop solutions. And inside of Final Cut, you can find them right away from within your effects panel here. And again, with the Prefix MA for easy navigation. In fact, for all of these pieces of software, you'll find these plugins clearly labeled and in the place you'd normally find native effects. But now that these are installed in your editor of choice, what can you actually do with them? There's a ton of different plugins for so many different scenarios, but I'm just gonna go over a couple that I'm super excited about. And I'll let you explore and play around with some more for yourself. And the first one I'm gonna show you is our cinema style effect. Have you ever wanted to quickly make your footage look more cinematic? Yeah, no kidding, that's kind of literally everybody's goal. So we made an effect called CineStyle and it adds film grain, a letterbox, and moody color grades over top of your footage. And if you wanted to apply this to your entire edit, you can add an adjustment layer over everything and apply it to impact all of your footage. But maybe you're thinking, I like the film grain and I like the letterbox, but I wanna do individual color grading for each clip to get the best results. No problem. On your adjustment layer, just go to the Cine Style effect and set the color adjustment and the S curves to zero. Now only applying the grain and the letterbox. And you can do this with all of the individual pieces of this effect. And we have individual effects for just film grain if you wanted to apply that. Or if you just wanted a more intense film damage look in general. But hey, that's a lot of effects over top of our footage. Isn't it gonna need a lot of time to render and play back? Nope. All of this is applied in a really lightweight manner so that your computer doesn't have to work as hard to process all of this. Obviously, your own personal computer specs are gonna influence your experience, but compared to other effects and plugins that I've tried, these are super lightweight. But next, I wanna show you something that I still don't personally understand how it works. Auto light flares. If I drag and drop these light flares onto my footage here, you can see that it shows up with a flare and I can choose from a bunch of different crazy styles and focal lengths and characteristics, but the holy sh crazy witchcraft part of all of this is when I press play, it's automatically tracked to the brightest part of my scene. What? And there's even an option to choose how many different lens flares you wanna be visible in case there's multiple different light sources in your scene. I remember growing up as a kid and wanting nothing more than to be able to add anamorphic lens flares to my scene and waiting for hours just to track some simple PNGs of some flares onto my scene. And now it's this simple. Drag and drop, select, extend, done. My childhood is fulfilled now. Seriously, play around with some of these sub features. You can control whether or not the light has rays, how intense the blooming is, how far these flares extend, and oh gosh, I don't even know how I would begin to try and create some of this stuff for myself. But it makes my life easier and I'm happy, so on to the next plugin, picture in picture. Look, it's a really simple effect, but holy cow, it's just so nice to have a one-click solution for this. Drag and drop, picture in picture. Okay, you get the idea. Moving on, color gradient. You might think this would be something useful for quick gradients for things like motion graph, and you're right, but it also works on your footage too. If you've ever used a gradient filter in real life, then you know it's a super useful tool for people like landscape photographers, but you can also use the same concept on your footage in editing. By setting a gradient like this to screen, you make it look like there's a thin layer of haze or fog on the floor of your scene. 
and moving around where this gradient line is and how harsh or soft it is, is super easy too. This is something that you're able to do manually, but having it in a quick drag and drop format helps to take my mind off of the technical details and keep them focused on the story and the feeling that I'm trying to generate through my video. But guys, I'm just scratching the surface with these. There's over 40 plugins and they're all super helpful. And they come at no extra cost to your motion or a subscription. And I've left a link in the description so that you can have quick access. You can just start using them and just get going exploring them and making your life easier as a filmmaker. Thanks so much for watching. And I can't wait to see all the amazing things you use these to create.